Hello, and welcome to an ACOR Orthopedic Educational Tutorial. My name is Ross Marty, and I am Director of Clinical Education for ACOR, and I will be your instructor for this series. In this segment, we'll be covering the basics of casting the foot for custom footwear using the posterior opening technique. This method is preferred for most patients. However, do not use this if the patient has severe hammer toes or bunions. For this casting method, we're going to need a solid chair, a casting block, and you want to put some sort of cover over it, just a plastic blade, okay, and double pencil, roll of 8 inch plaster of Paris bandage, some sort of set, uh, separant, this is a petroleum jelly, and then a bucket of warm water. So what we're going to do is start to make sure the patient's in the right position, 90th of the knee, 90th of the ankle, right on the block where the heel rise starts. And then we're going to put some separant on. Put up real quick and just generously put a bunch on. And this will make the cast come off a lot easier. It actually gives a nice even look inside the cast too. All right, I'll set that back on. Okay, next we're going to take and get the right length of plaster of Paris. I'm going to do a Oxford style this time, so we're going to go want to go one inch higher than the shoe or boot is going to be. Is going to be. This one we're going to go about one inch over the lateral medial malleolus, one inch behind the heel, wrapping it up nicely over the forefoot, one inch higher. And then we're going to make uh, four layers of this, and this makes it uh, pretty durable for shipping. One, two, three, and one more, four, and then just rip it off. And we're also going to want a piece for the back, so we're going to go one inch on either side of the malleolus again, and then four layers. One, two, three, and. All right, now set this off to the side. We'll use that in a few minutes. And then take this back piece. We're going to put it in between our fingers so it's easier to unravel when we get it wet. One, two, three, four. And we'll wrap it up. Show you again real quick. One, two, three, four. Put it in your warm water. And make sure you wring it out nice and good. Just like a wet rag. All right, work the plaster in for just a second. All right, unravel it. One, two, three, and four. If you could pick your foot up for me, please. Place it onto the cast block. All right, set the patient's foot back on. Making sure we have it in the 99 position, and we want it just about in the center of the plaster. All right, we'll take this front piece here. That's good. And we're going to wrap that up just nice and loosely over the toes. One inch higher than the shoe or boot's going to be. Again, an Oxford, something just over the malleolus. And you notice I put a nice little eating, leading edge here, and that just makes it nice and stiff at the top for shipping again. Now I'm going to do the same here. And put double thickness for shipping. Just a little bit of a dog ear back here so that lays flat. And same on the lateral side here. Flat base. Alright. I don't care how it looks on the outside. What matters is what it looks like on the inside. So all these folds and stuff is not going to hurt the inside and it makes the outside nice and stable. But we want to make sure that it's a nice tight containment inside. So we're going to start massaging everything in. It actually helps a little bit if you get your hands wet and work it in. We want to fold these back into a leading edge also at this point. So we've got a nice solid edge there. Start working it in. Contain that arch. All right. Now starting to set up, so we're going to put our back piece on. A very important step is we need to have some Vaseline here also. So generously put a bunch on here. 
back on the heel. Everywhere the other plaster is going to touch, you need to make sure you have a good amount of a separate. All right. So we'll grab another piece here. And we're going to go ahead and put that on our fingers and get it wet again. Bring it out. And just pull it on the back piece again, folding that top edge. And then flatten it nice out. Get a wrinkle in there, just pull it over and fold it over again. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside, as long as everything's nice and smooth on the inside. So just keep on working it in. All right, we'll let that set for a second with the indelible pencil. Just quickly put the uh, patient's name, or I use a number system. So her number is 0073. And I'll also put today's date on it real quick. All right. As this starts to set up, a great idea is just to lightly pull it back, loosen it up a little bit, make sure you bring it right back into place. And that just makes it easier once it firms up completely to get it off. Make sure you massage it back in there real quick. few more minutes to set up there and we'll be ready to go. At this point as it's setting up you might want to fill out your work order form. Important things in the work order is uh, of course patient's name, style of the shoe that you've picked, um, and the color of the shoe, and then the last important thing of course is the style of the foot orthotic that you've chosen. Alright, real quick pull it off. I'm going to just let it set for just a couple more seconds. Just real quickly pull that off, set it off to the back, have the patient pick up her foot, and then wiggle her toes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle as you push just slightly, and twisting the cast will come right off. And there's the inside portion of the cast. Okay. And then we'll take and put the back piece back on real quick here. And then there's our complete cast there, ready for shipment. For more information on what you have seen here today, or to watch another ACOR educational tutorial, visit us at www.acor.com. Thanks for watching and good day.